The treasure hunters have returned with new rules and they can now spawn all over the wasteland. But what are the best locations to farm them? Well, let me show you my top 10. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Recently, I have gone over the major changes for the Treasure Hunter community event, which include new rewards, a much wider spawn, and even cheaper empty pill prices at the vendors. If you're not familiar with the event changes, feel free to check my feature overview. I'm leaving the link here. Now, since the Treasure Hunters can spawn anywhere in the map, with a few exceptions, the farming location locations have also changed. After testing dozens of them, I came up with my top 10, which allowed me to farm over 100 pills in the past two days alone. I created a map to make things easier for you. The link for the HD version is right below the video if you wish to save it for upcoming events to use it later as you prefer. Don't forget you can either follow the map or server jump at each location. The choice is entirely yours. Now, before we check each location, one by one, do let me tell you that most of them are towns because treasure hunters tend to spawn in numbers and more often in highly populated locations. Moreover, most Ash Eep locations have been nerfed in terms of spawn rates. Yep, you heard me right. I mean, don't get me wrong, they still spawn hunters and can be viable, but they are not as reliable or consistent as they used to be when the event first went live. Anyway, let me show you my top 10 locations. Let's do this. At the bottom of the list, I included a location that is not the most reliable one. At Yeltum Acre Cabin, the spawn rate is around 50-50, but coming here has its perks. First of all, you can immediately spot if the treasure hunter is around or not, since it has a fixed spawn near the cabin's door. You can pretty much hear the hunter's sound from the fast travel spawn point. So, this is a very quick location to check and farm, plus there is a high chance to find another legendary here. Yep, one of the wolves has a crown and it can spawn as a legendary very often, so in your best run you will farm two legendaries in just a few seconds. Isn't that great? I think it is. The Garaham Estate used to be one of my golden locations in the first version of the event. You could find up to two hunters inside the building most of the time, but now it barely made it to my top 10. The maximum I have encountered so far was one treasure hunter per run. I've had some empty runs as well, but the strategy behind this place is simply because the building is vertical and as soon as you load in from the elevator, you can't understand understand if there is a hunter in any of the levels or not. If you hear the sound, then you have to check the entire place. It's not so easy, I know. There are different levels, dozens of rooms, and some are even locked. That doesn't stop hunters from spawning inside of them though, so don't skip locked rooms if the sound is coming from them, because the hunter is most likely inside. Anyway, in my runs, most hunters were inside such small rooms rooms, but they can spawn pretty much anywhere, including in main halls and even in the basement area, so make sure to check them out. The Palace of the Winding Path is another strategic pick. This place is huge, but don't you worry. You only need to check the palace itself, the main building, to be precise. You can find one to two hunters per run, and the beautiful thing here is that you can tell if you should head inside the building just by going through the garden, which is in the way from the spawn point. If there is a sound, then you can go ahead and farm the hunter inside. If not, just serve a job or go somewhere else. The palace has a huge basement level under the garden where the hunters usually spawn. That's why this small trick works so well. One hunter usually spawns on the electric room past the kitchen in the staff wing. Then you have dynamic spawns, some are on the living quarters or even around the main palace building. I found mostly one hunter per run, so don't expect to find two very often. It can happen true, but occasionally. 
Next, at the abandoned bog town, you can find two treasure hunters more consistently. There seems to be a fixed spawn right at the heart of the town among the super mutants behind these metal walls. I usually find one there. Also, this is a great place to farm legendaries, so expect to find some legendary mutants every now and then. As for the second hunter, well, it varies a lot. Sometimes it spawns on the main road, even before you reach the town or even around the workshop area so it's best to do a full circle around to make sure you didn't miss anything. I personally like to come here because it's a multi-farming location for experience, legendary, some caps, junk and with this event treasure hunters too so it's perfect in my view. Bolton Greens is one of my favorite locations right now because I often find two hunters per run and each run takes about one minute to complete. It's very quick and easy to check because, well, the hunters always spawn inside or around the main building. So by checking the building itself, it will give you indications if there are any hunters spawn or not. I mainly find the hunters on the roof, at the entrance area, you know, near the fountain, or inside the building. When that's the case, they could be anywhere, in any room, at any corner, so make sure to check it properly. We don't want you to miss anything, right? By the way, I've searched the gold fields a few times and never found any hunter there, so I don't think there is a spawn around the house besides the entrance, so that's a little detail to save you some time. The only location from the Toxic Valley in this video is the Clarksburg, which is again one of the quickest runs in the entire list. I usually find two hunters in this small town, but it is not uncommon to find just one every now and then. Anyway, they mostly spawn on the upper part of the town from the spawn point, as shown in the footage. The hunters tend to spawn inside the houses, so make sure to check them out as well. Other than that, they can spawn around on the roofs, on the main roads. This location is not very big though, so it's generally easy to spot the hunters right away and move along. We are moving up the list. Now, the Monoga town is a very consistent place. I usually find two to three hunters per run, and I only had a couple of runs with none or just one. Now, this location is a fixed one for more miners, so you can easily lose track of the hunters since they kind of look similar to the other mole miners. My hint here is to chase the hunter as soon as you spot it to ensure he doesn't run that far. The most common spawns for Monoga are the main roads around the station and even on the north house. This town is also not very large, so once again you shouldn't have serious issues finding the hunters. This is probably my number one location for server jumping farming because it's quick and you can easily find two or three hunters per run. Couldn't ask for better. Now, starting with my top three, we have Halvicia, which is a town with a fairly decent ground to cover, sadly. You can usually find one to four treasure hunters per run. It's rare to come out of here empty-handed, but finding four at once is also not so common. On the other hand, the hunters can spawn basically anywhere. I found only one fixed spawn so far at the house in front of the restaurant. Almost every run, I find one there. All the other spawns are very random and scattered, such as the main roads and inside basically every house, like the church, the honey house, the male house, and so on. I highly advise you to do a full circle starting from the fast travel point to ensure you didn't miss anything. This location is quite huge and spotting hunters right away is not possible. Still, this is a really great location to farm them, so don't just walk away because it's a lot of work. There's a lot of profit and value here. The number two for me is the Morgantown Airport, but there's a trick about this one. Sometimes it's nothing special, you will find one or two hunters at most, but other times it's amazing. You will find four 
or 500s at once in such a short space. They're basically hugging each other when this happens. I must admit the consistency here is not very high, but you never know what to expect. And yes, I did have a few runs with no hunters at all, but A, you don't have a lot of ground to cover, unlike you may think. For example, I've never seen any hunter spawning in the medic and tech areas, so you can skip all of those houses and focus on what matters. Just check the front yard and then the backyard with all the tents and the storage containers and that's it. I usually find one in the front yard, then one or two around the signal tower and again one or two in the backyard. I love this location as well and until this point not a lot of people seem to know about it, which makes farming and server jumping way more efficient. You should really try it out. If you have been farming a lot of treasure hunters, then you are probably aware that Morgantown is the new golden location for the second wave of the event. You can usually find several of them scattered across the town. I usually find two to four, but it's possible to farm five per run every now and then. Now, I can't remember never finding a hunter here unless someone else had just farmed it before me, so I think I can say this is the most reliable location I found to farm so far, which can spawn up to five hunters at once as well. But this area is like White Springs for legendaries. Most people seem to know about it already, so expect to find Morgantown on cooldown if you decide to farm it. Now, as for the spawns, there is usually one close to the fast travel point, either in the road alone or among the ghouls. It's also common to find one around the high school entrance and then another one in the road ahead where it splits to the left and to the right. There's also a spawn where the tent and the terminal is just after the toilets and yeah, there's too many spawns to mention really. Overall, they can spawn inside the houses, on the roofs, on secondary roads, around the monorail path. I think you get the picture here. The downside of this location is that it has a lot of ground to cover like a lot so each run might take a few minutes to complete but a you will hardly come out of this run empty-handed that's for sure that's why it's my number one it's a very consistent location in terms of spawn quality and spawn quantity if you have a private server you should really consider this place if you're farming treasure hunters That's my top 10 list to farm treasure hunters after the update. Now, there are many other locations you can go for to farm them. In fact, they can spawn anywhere in the map except for instanced areas. It's just some locations spawn them more often and in higher numbers. Remember, highly populated locations are the ones with the higher spawn rates. That's why this list includes mostly towns where there's a lot of mobs, dozens and dozens of them. I have have some more locations for you in which I have encountered treasure hunters with some consistency, but sadly I didn't have enough time to properly test all of them. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you in any way possible. I know the event is almost over, but hey, it's live for only four days. I did my best here to test as many locations as I could in the past two days to deliver a new reliable farming guide. Anyway, keep in mind there are two more events coming in November with the same exact rules, which means this farming guide will be useful in the future as well. For now, that's everything. I am Marta Branco. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help the channel and well happy farming i will see you all very very soon in the next one until then take care adios bye bye